Dear students, the topic is histidine operon or his operon. Before going to the topic, please subscribe my channel. Press the bell icon for notifications. Like, share among your friends and comment. Dear students, we can see about his operon or histidine operon. In Escherichia coli and Salmonella typhimurium, the enzymes responsible for the biosynthesis of the amino acid histidine are encoded by 8 to 10 genes tightly clustered in a single large operon. This is called as his operon or histidine operon. In both species, transcription produces a single polycystronic mRNA about 7300 nucleotides long extending from a primary promoter that is HISP1 to a raw independent terminator. The two weak terminal promoters HISP2 and HISP3 are located within the HISC and HISF genes respectively. The structural organization of the operon is essentially the same in the two species and in both the translational stop codon of each cistron overlaps the tra translational initiation codon of the downstream cistron. This organization allows ribosomes to initiate the translation of a new cistron without moving away from the mRNA after terminating translation of the preceding one. Such a translational coupling mechanism probably guarantees equimolar synthesis of the corresponding gene products. Let me can see histidine operon in detail. Here, histidine is the amino acid which is synthesized by 8 genes that is G1 to G8. Here, gene 9 and this is the gene 10. These are the structural genes responsible for the production of the amino acid histidine. These genes produce the enzymes E1 to E8, here E9 and the enzyme E10. These enzymes all produces 10 metabolites and these metabolites join and give the amino acid histidine. When histidine is formed, that will be utilized by the cell. Utilized by the cell. When the histidine is in excess, when histidine is in excess, which will act as a co-repressor. This aporepressor is produced by the regulator gene you know the structure of an operon consists of regulator, operator, promoter like these genes are present. And here excess of the histidine will act as co-repressor and the regulatory gene produce aporepressor and form a repressor. A repressor. So when excess of histidine is produced which will combine with aporepressor and form the repressor molecule and the transcription is blocked and the production of the enzyme will not take place and the production of histidine stops. Next we can see what is a repressible system and how this operon take place in detail. In repressible system some enzymes are normally present in the cells but cease to be synthesized when high concentrations of their end products are present, such enzymes are called repressible enzymes, while the end product is called co-repressor. The regulator gene produces aporepressor, which unites with co-repressor to form a functional repressor molecule. This inhibits the system. These systems are found in anabolic pathways. Example, histidine operon in Salmonella typhimurium. Here in this histidine operon, there are 10 genes produces 10 enzymes and 
these 10 enzymes catalyzes and produces 10 metabolites which help to form histidine. When the amino acid histidine occurs in high concentration in the medium that start to act as co-repressor. This amino acid terminates the synthesis of 10 enzymes which are required in pathway to histidine. This kind of repression is called coordinate repression. When histidine is low, the ribosome stalls on top of region 1, 2 and 3 can bind together. This is not a terminator, so histidine biosynthetic genes are made. However, when there is a lot of histidine, the ribosome speeds over region 1 and gets into region 2. Thus, region 3 is free to bind to region 4. The region 3, region 4 hairpin loop is a terminator. So, the RNA strand breaks and the histidine biosynthetic genes are not made. Dear students, here energy equivalent to about 41 ATP molecule is required to synthesize one molecule of the amino acid histidine. The considerable metabolic cost of histidine biosynthesis presumably accounts for evolution of multiple strategies to regulate the rate of synthesis of the amino acid in response to environmental changes. Checkpoints regulate both the flow of intermediate through biosynthetic pathway and the amount of histidine biosynthetic enzymes present. Expression of the genes for these enzymes is regulated in bacterial cell by mechanisms that are both general means metabolic regulation, elongation control and specific means attenuation control, segmental stabilization of the distal part of the messenger RNA. Dear students, I hope you could understand what is histidine operon and how it operates in bacterial cell. Thank you for watching. See you in next class with another topic. Don't forget to leave a like and please subscribe my channel.